Hey there everybody, welcome to RVA Biz Law episode 10. My name is Eric Perkins, I'm a small business franchise and nonprofit attorney uh, in Richmond, Virginia. And today we're going to talk a little bit about starting a nonprofit organization. A growing part of my practice uh, it has been working with startup nonprofit organizations. And for those of you out there that have a dream uh, of starting your own nonprofit to, to fulfill uh, a need you see in your community uh, or just following your passion for community service, uh, I want you to think about three things right out of the starting gate. Number one, you should do a little research. There are over 40,000 nonprofit organizations in Virginia uh, doing a lot of different and wonderful things. One of the first things you want to consider is whether there is another nonprofit in your area doing the same thing or something similar to what you hope to accomplish because there are many advantages to collaborating with an existing nonprofit uh, and, and helping them uh, rather than uh, taking the plunge and starting a new organization from scratch. The second thing to keep in mind is you don't want to take on too much uh, responsibility uh, yourself. You want to assemble a great team around you. I've seen uh, many uh, very talented, very passionate people uh, start uh, an organization with a great mission, a great vision, uh, a lot of positive energy, but they try to do too much themselves and within 18 to 24 months they were exhausted, they were burned out, they had not uh, attracted uh, a team of fellow board members to help carry the load, uh, to help offer some different perspectives, and the organization sadly uh, had, had to dissolve. So consider uh, who in your vast professional personal network uh, that you can recruit to help you out. People that, that come from different uh, backgrounds, uh, different professions, different personalities, different perspectives, uh, that type of diversity uh, will make your organization um, a, a better organization, uh, but it will also allow you to share uh, some of the burdens uh, and, and tasks involved with uh, starting and growing uh, an organization. How many people do you need? Well, that, that varies from one organization to the next. Uh, a range of between 5 and 11 uh, board members for, for an initial board I have found to be optimal for most small volunteer based nonprofit organizations. Uh, that's large enough that you, you can share, um, share the load so to speak uh, but not so large that it's unwieldy and, and cumbersome uh, to navigate from an administrative perspective. Uh, the third thing to keep in mind as you are getting off the ground is what I refer to as a reality check. Um, you, you should plan conservatively and, and don't be too aggressive in, in what you think uh, you're going to uh, accomplish, particularly during the first two years of the nonprofit's existence. Uh, budget conservatively, um, never lose sight of the mission of the organization. Um, a nonprofit has to dedicate exclusively its assets and activities in furtherance of its stated charitable mission. So this isn't about uh, building a business uh, or creating a job for yourself. Uh, this is about uh, pursuing uh, a charitable mission. Um, Perkins Law is pleased to offer flat fee packages uh, for startup nonprofit organizations in Virginia that covers everything from feasibility of tax exempt purpose to organizational structural issues helping you set up a Virginia non-stock corporation through which to um, conduct the organization and pursue your mission uh, as well as assistance with uh, navigating the form 1023 process with the IRS. Um, happy to answer questions. 
chat with you about uh, your nonprofit plans anytime. So look us up online, ericperkinslaw.com or rvabizlaw.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.